Let's make normal photos look miniature in ACDC. So the miniature effect is actually called the tilt shift effect, and the concept behind it is the following. If you're familiar with macro photos, you'll notice that whatever is in front or behind the subject is very blurry. And to make a normal sized photo look miniature, we need to recreate the same effect as in a macro photo. By adding blur to the top and bottom of an image, this will trick our eye to make us think that what we're actually looking at is a very small version of, in this case, downtown Vancouver. Now, let's apply the tilt shift effect to this awesome photo in Norway using ACDC Ultimate. Once you have your photo open in edit mode, go to the left panel where you'll find the tilt shift effect. ACDC will automatically add blur to the top and bottom of your photo, and the result right off the bat is pretty impressive. But let's go ahead and review all aspects of this effect. You can see four horizontal lines. Manipulating these lines will change the way the bokeh or blur is applied to your photo. What I want for this particular photo is to make these little boats in focus, and basically this entire row of houses too. Everything else behind it and everything else in front of it, I want it blurred. Let's start off by grabbing the main arrows in the middle of the effect to drag it down until I can get the boats in focus. Next, I want to smooth out the blur between the focused area and the maximum blurred area. To do this, I'm just going to click and drag the top line of the effect further up. This will extend the range of the blur and smooth it out as it goes further back in the image. Now I will drag down the top line in the middle to keep extending my blur. Now I'll do the same at the bottom. You can also zoom out your image so you can keep adjusting the lines beyond the actual photo. Remember you can click on show previews to compare your results with the original photo. I'm going to keep playing around with the horizontal lines until I achieve the focused and blur areas I want. Let's go ahead and review the options of the tilt shift effect on the left side panel. In terms of blur, you have the Gaussian blur and the lens blur. I recommend going for the lens blur because it actually emulates the blur you get in a real lens. Amount is the amount of blur in your photo, and actually 20 is a pretty good level. The bokeh frequency is how often the bokeh shapes occur, and usually the default number works really good. Now let's reduce the bokeh brightness so that the blown out areas in the photo aren't so prominent but still leaving it slightly to achieve a more impactful result. The bokeh side slider defines the number of slides the bokeh shape will have. If you reduce it to the minimum, the shapes of the objects in the blurred area will become almost geometrical. So to give it a natural look, we do want to set the slider around the middle. As I keep looking at my image, I realize I want to drag this down a bit more. And that's it! Click done to finalize your edit. We just transformed a normal sized landscape into a miniature landscape thanks to the tilt shift effect in ACDC. Please like this video and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. You can also leave suggestions for future videos you would like me to cover. See you next time!